In this video, I'm going to show you every single way to get the brand new Scorcher Wonder Weapon in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now, unlike the Ray Gun and Wonder Waffle, there isn't a blueprint schematic so you can craft them before going into a game. But there are specific things you can do within a game that can almost guarantee you to get the Scorcher. Jumping into it, the first and most obvious way is, of course, just to get it out the mystery box. Now, the way that the box works and the weapons is that as the game goes on, the higher the chance you have to get the Scorcher Wonder Weapon out of the mystery box box as well as just any wonder weapon in general so that includes the ray gun and the wonder waffle dg2 as well now the other two ways to get the scorcher is through finding the weapon itself or by finding the weapon case for the scorcher so let's break down exactly how to get both of those starting with the weapon as a drop now for the chance of this you need to go ahead and complete the legacy fortress now this is a three-step procedure where you first need to go to a mercenary camp and kill all of the mercenary soldiers there and search for the mercenary cache that will contain a mercenary stronghold key card. But if you don't want to do this, you can also buy a stronghold key card from a buy station in the medium threat zone. Once you possess one of these key cards, you need to make your way over to any of the mercenary strongholds around the map. You're going to need to use that key card in order to unlock it. And depending on the size of the building, there are going to be potentially multi-story levels of human AI soldiers that you're going to need to take out. This will include normal soldiers, some more beef up soldiers and ones that will have riot shields as well but your aim is to completely clear the stronghold of all the enemy ai and somewhere in one of the rooms is going to be a safe that you can interact with to start drilling this is going to cause more mercenary ai to spawn so you're going to need to defend yourself until the safe has been completely opened now some of these strongholds can have these safes hidden in really hard to find places so absolutely scan the entire building if for whatever reason you genuinely can't find the safe now the safe has a very important an item inside being the legacy fortress key card this is the only way to get this key card and it's going to give us access to a fortress in the top left of the map which is one of the hardest places to go to with the ai that are there so it's definitely recommended to go to this with a full team of three where you've got a fully kitted weapon pack a punch levels rarity levels and perks as well as some equipment because this is going to be a challenge but when you make your way to the fortress in the middle it's going to be a building that you can open using that key card and inside you're going to need to clear two floors of enemies. The bottom floor is going to contain a bunch of traps as well as decoys and a bunch of the AI that are in the surrounding area are going to swarm into this building. So you need to be very careful. In particular, the AI soldiers that are ninjas that just run really quickly at you with knives are going to be very hard to take out. And it's also going to be some riot shielders as well. So make sure you have your stuns and semtexes to make that easy. Once that is cleared, you're going to make your way up to the second floor, but make sure you diffuse the wire that is on the stairs leading to the second floor. You're going to take out a few enemy AI as well as one of the guardians. And then to the left, after diffusing more barbed wire, you're going to be in this little sort of window where there's going to be a ton of AI facing towards you with that legacy boss right at the back. There'll be trophy systems. There'll be these mines. There'll be tons of stuff. So be sure to be careful. But once you've taken down the legacy boss hiding right at the back of the room, you'll have cleared the fortress and a reward rift will spawn that has the chance of the Scorcher Wonder Weapon being in there. This particular reward rift at the fortress has the the chance of giving you some insane unlockables that you can't get through any other methods and getting the scorcher here is one of them the only issue is that you can only do that once per game so if you want another method where you can farm up and try your best then what you need to do is you need to go into the high threat zone and simply complete different contract missions for us we were just doing loads and loads of bounties one after the other trying to get the elusive ray gun schematic and if you want to know how to do that exactly I've got a video on my channel that I'll have linked down below and appearing in the top right of your screen. But completing any of the contracts within the high threat zone has the chance of the reward rift to give you the Scorcher. But it won't just be the Scorcher as a weapon, but it will be as the weapons case where you can choose to exfil with it, keep it in your stash. And at any point in the future, you can bring that into a future game and immediately spawn with the Scorcher. In this instance, when I did find it, I just went ahead and popped the case. And as you can see, you're given the Scorcher immediately. And I went ahead and upgraded it all the way to tier three Pack-A-Punch just to see how strong this new Wonder Weapon is when it's at its max Pack-A-Punch level. Now, what makes this Wonder Weapon so unique compared to the Ray Gun or the Wonder Waffer is that it has infinite ammo. It will never run out of ammo. It simply just needs to be recharged, which you can do whilst you have it out or whilst you've got it stowed away and you have another weapon out. 
out. By default, to use this weapon, you need to charge it up and it shoots a laser beam, which if you aim it towards a bunch of zombies, is very likely to take out the entire horde in one foul swoop. Now, it is fairly slow and it does leave a sort of area of effect on the ground in the direction of the beam hitting zombies, which is pretty nice. So for horde control, this thing is really, really useful. But unfortunately, it's just not very good when it comes to taking out any sort of bosses, especially any elites or mega bosses like you get from the bounties. But the one huge benefit to this wonder weapon is that it is a traversal king. If you hold down the left trigger, it shoots you up into the air you can use your parachute to redeploy so if you are in the high threat area and you want to move around very quickly and safely then this wonder weapon is an absolute dream to do so because you don't need to be on the ground you won't have zombies running behind you nipping your feet it basically guarantees you to traverse around the map extremely efficiently and very very safely the one downside to using this wonder weapon in game as well as any other wonder weapon is that when you exfil with it you won't be able to keep it as a stashed weapon it just gets converted into xp but if you found the scorcher weapon case and chose not to use it in the game you found it in when you exfil with that case you will have that added in your stash and you can literally add it into your backpack and a future run and immediately spawn in with the scorcher now it's really interesting that at this current moment in time there isn't a schematic blueprint for the Scorcher so that you can permanently unlock it and craft it before going into a match. I'm pretty confident that when I played this game a month or so ago at Treyarch before release, the Scorcher was available as a acquisition which could be crafted. So maybe when season one drops or maybe in a later season, there will be an update where this will be added as an acquisition that you can find in game. You can actually find the blueprint and exfil with it and be able to craft it for future matches. So clearly there are some situations where this wonder weapon absolutely shines and there's other situations where it is just pretty useless but i found if you combine this with the tesla storm field upgrade and you pretty much have a guaranteed way of taking out all the hordes that are running your way in the high threat zone and then combining with a tesla storm to stun those zombies it basically is a get out of jail free card and a keep safe weapon where you can basically guarantee that you'll always be able to get yourself out of a sticky situation let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section what do you rate this wonder weapon from a scale of 1 to 10? And enjoy this footage of how quickly I use this to get from the high threat zone all the way to an X fill in the low threat. What does it even do? Oh, it stuns zombies in front of you. Okay. Yep, I'm popping it again. Is it doing damage to the boss? Ah, oh, it's too late. Someone in the chat said that, uh, the bosses, the elites, are immune to the uh, field upgrade. Yeah, that makes sense. The zombies, they were stunning like crazy. Flawless Ethereum Crystal. Flawless. That gives you a level three. Yeah, not the schematic, but just the crystal. Oh my god. Bro, we're getting amazing drops. Maybe we do another one. Maybe we do another one for the sake of the loot. This is insane. You know what? I'm going to fly over and get that bounty. 